now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pharaoh's Vault. This is where I go into my massive DVD collection and I show y'all a few of my favorites. Some of these you may know, some of these you may not. But the ones that you do not know, I am going to explain the movie to you. And then you are going to decide whether or not, based off of what I've told you, if you will now go watch this movie. 89% mm. chance you are not, because I am not going to explain this well. And it probably will not <laughs> convince you to go see the movie. But I'm hoping a few key points might change your mind. So are y'all ready to get into this? Yeah, but don't, yeah. don't ruin it for me, man. I, <laughs> I, I'm already excited about this movie. All right. All right. Let's I, go. I, I can't promise that. But if you do know the movie, the sparkle on your face and then us reminiscing about it will be just the same as if you didn't know it. And I think just for all of us, of course, I have my friends from the Necessary Nonsense, Lou, Jerry, our new friend Tia, who is vegan, uh, moved to LA, and the first place she lived in was Beverly Hills. So I <laughs> think she's doing her thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got a Tupac shirt on. She's about, we know what it is. We can walk across to you. This She's about this life. Yes. <laughs> so we are going to get into our first. The money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into our first movie, my DVD. Not everybody has this on DVD, but if, you've black, if you're black, you should listen to this. Boom. Oh, yes. Dang. Yes. That was the reaction I was hoping for. Yes. Right, man. Look at this. Look, look. Yeah. This is this is how it look. Don't even have no cover. Just the name on the little blue ribbon. Classic. I still got the paper. Yo. Last scene selection. Yes. Wow. We're yes. out here. We're out here, man. I'm embarrassed. I haven't seen that movie. Oh, oh. I'm not oh. actually I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm man, surprised. listen. Well, Jerry, let me get you ready for a ride. I grew up now, in a Jamaican household. Yes, man. Now let, let's 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 take you back, man. We, I'm gonna give you an example. It's you and Lou. All right. Uh, Lou Lou is a very uh, he's a successful accountant. He is is trying to get with the, with the, the prettiest female there at mm. the accounting place, and then he has to take care of you. Now you know. Um, you will be what's called an uh, educated fool. Very smart. But streetwise, you know, kind of downplay. But mm. what you've noticed is there's too much crime in the city. Yes, indeed. Too much crime in the damn city, and you want to do something about it. So you decide to step up and help the community and become a superhero. Now, of course, you don't have a budget to be like Batman and be able to go up to the commissioner and get the bat signal up and stuff like that. So you gotta make do with what you got. So you got your workman boots, you got your long john, <laughs> and you got your, your grandmama's bed sheet. You know, yeah. the one she don't use, the one from the linen closet. The and of course you got the dishwashing gloves. Now you got a whole bunch of cool, unique gadgets that you can put together from parts that you didn't find in the projects and stuff. You got a dope assistant. He's like R2-D2, but not really because he's a washing machine, but he still helps you out. And he's named J-5. And yeah. so you go, you take on the city, fighting crime. You even convince Lou to get into it. So he comes in with the long johns and now y'all are becoming savings of the city. Y'all got to face turmoil as, as the villains. But you also get the girl, Robin Giffins. Oh, trying to also stop crime in the city. So the nerve gets the girl. There's unity amongst the black community mm. and all is saved thanks to black men. Now, Jared, I didn't get I ain't getting none of the movie away. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just, just based off of what I said, are you checking out what the Kansas City Star says is a heartfelt comedy that's falling down funny? Hey, uh, I cannot wait to see the film. Um, I gotta say, you had me at washing machine, my brother. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> 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 
Hey, hey, man, I'm telling you, dude, this is a good movie to just throw on, especially if you ain't got shit to do. Mm -hmm. This is just filled with laughs, man. Like, it ain't about shit. Yeah. It's just something good to laugh at, dog. It's a good laugh. Hell yeah. All right. Bring yeah. it up, man. That's David Allen Greer in it as well, man. He Ooh. plays his older brother. Tell you, bro, this is this is a classic. Nothing to be like, yo, this is one of the greatest movies of all time. But no, nah, just as Lou explained. Sitting down at the house, bored on a Sunday, feel like having some laughs. Blank man, man. never disappoints. So right. I'm doing but, it. Glad I was able to explain that one. Now we'll move on to another one. So uh, it's a good thing we got someone here named Lewis. Because if you know this, you know this movie, you understand why I'm saying this. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> Jackie Brown. <laughs> Good old Jackie Brown, the Quentin Tarantino classic. With all, just look at Pam Grill right there. Just I know my eyes went Pam. straight to her. I love me some Pam Grill. Pam Grill. Boy. And this was, this was I was talking about her yesterday. <laughs> look at this, she's so fine. You had you had to give her a whole DVD set. Look at this. Look look at mm. this. Come on, Jackie. Come Jackie on, Brown. Jackie. Come on, Jackie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie I'm Brown. Like, so, so like first, Brown. have we all seen this? Have we all seen yeah, it? I've seen no. it. No. I've seen it once, and it's been oh. years since I've seen it. I used to fast forward for some parts. Tia says she hasn't seen That's it. That's a negative. Let me put you up on game right now. What Robert Ebert from the Chicago Sun-Times called one of the year's best I don't know what year this came out, but whenever it did, it was the year's best. Let's take, we are Jackie Brown. First of all, let me take out. God, look at that. Pam Greer, a hot 40, looking good. Jeez. She's the air stewardess. Not like, she was like, she was working at Spirit before Spirit was Spirit. All right, so it was just flights from California Mex to Mexico. And what, what happened is she was out here, you know, helping move that work as a stewardess. So they put like cocaine in her bag and stuff like that. She take it, get her little change, whoop -de whoop go back to her job, and she keep doing her thing. Now you see this this player right here, Sam Jack. Now hey, you already you know. If Sam Jack is in this, you gotta watch it like automatically. Right. Now look, not only like is this Sam Jackson got a ponytail. I'm talking about hair, I'm talking about the Rosa Parks, hair to the fucking back. Oh, with oh, on him. Yeah, so he's like the kingpin, right? And he out here in these streets trying to move his work, move these drugs. And so what happens is one of his peoples get caught. And uh, it's Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker was also moving that way, but Chris Tucker got sloppy. And so we find out what happens when you get sloppy and you got to cross this dude, which is what enters in this guy, Max Cherry. R.I.P. to Max Cherry, man. The Bells Bondsman. I never learned so much about Bells Bonds until Max Cherry. That's how this happened. Then she get caught with the work. They put a little extra in her shit for this one. The, the white girl. The okay. white girl right here. They was they was trying to help her out, give her a little couple eight balls, and they threw it in Jackie Brown bag. Just just for no reason at all. Now this is how they start to meet. But then what happens is Michael Keaton, you know, he stepped down as Batman and was like, you know, I'm going to become a detective. And so now he worked for the FBI and they want to bring this nigga down. So that's how um, Jackie Brown start working. And then Robert De Niro is in there as Samuel Jackson's best friend. But then he start fucking the white girl. And so she start getting on his nerves and she be like, Lucas. Uh, Lucas. That was a great name of food. <laughs> Lucas. So she got a list. I, no, I, I think she. I don't think she had a list because she was from California, and so. <laughs> but um. Oh, what? But, <laughs> you don't have lists if you're from California. Nope. I mean, well, not. if you look, if you look on Web MD, you won't find nothing about it. So it's obviously true because it's not saying it's not. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> something you know. So they try this big plan basically to to rob him. They're gonna out hustle him and take mm -hmm. his money, and then get him arrested by this dude. And then so you gotta find out what happens. It's topsy-turvy, there's guns, it's dope. 
song records playing and stuff like that. There's this like 40 year old woman that uh Samuel Jackson just be like dicking down like that's so he be paying her rent and stuff like them old head niggas and shit. Be like, where your mom at? She tell you to go outside for like for like two hours and then come back. You yeah, thinking, you know, cause they about to play pin knuckle, but yeah, he about to play pin. About to get him some trim. Yeah, about to get him some trim with that butt. I'm about to, so, call. I'm about to get me some trim. So now, Tia, based off of what you heard, <laughs> are you down to watch Jackie Brown? I'm down. I hope it's on Netflix. Yes. I don't know if it's on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I love that celebration. I don't know what that was. The wheel. Listen, I don't I don't explain movies too well. Like you doing start, good, man. I, I'm I'm getting there. So I'm trying to get better. That's why I but I didn't have too much problems because Rolling Stones calls it a knockout. So I didn't I didn't need too much help on this. Man, I'm still, I'm I'm still laughing about uh yeah. The Kansas City Star on Blank Man. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> who, is, who trusts the Kansas City Star? I didn't even know they had one. Hey, hey why I'm was down funny? <laughs> why were they the top person to put on the DVD? I mean, like, you know what? Get that Kansas City Star uh, uh, review. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Yo, why? why? Why did we make movies like that? That we were just okay with just being absolutely ridiculous. Because I, you I needed just, it. You no, you definitely needed it, and I appreciate it. But like, it's just it's so special. It's it, so is. special. <laughs> it is just so special. All right, we got one more to go, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Now, can I, can I just say one thing, Will? Yes. Uh, you know, when when you pulled up Pam Greer, um, all I could think was if Black Don't Crack was a person. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I said about my bad. Uh, man, I thought you froze. I thought you froze. I thought you <laughs> Start thinking about Pam Grier. That's what Pam Grier do to you. Hey, Pam Grier. <laughs> Pam Grier make you look. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm frozen on Zoom, was a person. <laughs> 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 All right, final movie. Now, I don't expect too many people to know about this movie, but when I found out the amount of people that were in this movie, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, I, I, at first I was embarrassed to say I like this movie, but if you like Grease, I don't want his shit. All right, if you fuck with Grease, you can't judge me. I love Grease. All right then. She said that with so much pride. Look okay, so you know what? <laughs> she I know about know this movie. She may know this movie. Bacon grease, chicken grease. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bear grease. I love grease. I'm a lot of grease. I tell this, and she was like, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about this stuff. I thought you were talking, you talking, you talking about the country, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the movie is. Cry, baby. Uh, no, nah, we wouldn't watch no shit like that in the G house. I haven't seen that. Listen, <laughs> if you look, if I've you, seen Greece, but I haven't seen that. So yeah. here's the thing: if you want the great value version of Greece, oh, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> so we got look at young Johnny Depp. People don't even know Johnny Depp was in this movie. Wow. And just so basically, just think of Greece. I that was Emilio Estevez, dog. No, this is Johnny Depp. <laughs> wow. The, the Jack Sparrow. Um, the other things Johnny Depp has been in. Uh, Edward Scissorhands. Um, Secret Window. I'm forgetting the other things he's been in because I don't remember Johnny Depp that well. Right. But, you, you hit the key stuff. Yeah. yeah. So in this one, it's just like Greece, you know? The, 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 the leather boys riding the hot rods, the, the 50s girls. Of course, there's no black people in here. Mm -hmm, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, it is what it is. Know. And so, you know, basically he he's trash. You know, he comes from the he comes from the trailer park. So they don't be really wanting to fuck with this dude. But of course, the white girl right here, she in the suburbs. Oh, you know, let me not say that I'm trying to rape the girl on, on the cover. Let me get right here. Here we go. Uh she's from the suburbs. And so they not supposed to be mingling and mixing. And what was crazy about it is when he cried, he only cried one tear, like a neighbor. Mm -hmm. Just 
could just pop out. And so they go through a whole bunch of songs of them being together, them, oh, right there, uh, about them learning about one another. And then it's like a Romeo and Juliet type of movie where they be singing and shit in a diner. Then they be t singing about how he trash and then he wind up going to jail. And if she crying, and then she start crying in the tube and drinking her tears until he get out of jail and stuff like that. And um, what's the y'all remember? Y'all remember um, what was that? What was the white woman in the '90s that had the talk show? Was it Rita? Was that was that her name? What? Ricky Lake. Ricky yeah. Lake. Ricky Lake is in this movie. Oh, yeah. come on, baby. Oh, Ricky Lake is in this. Come on, the right. Ricky. I I did mess with Ricky Lake happy though. Hey, we love Ricky Lake, man. Ricky Lake's in the community. <laughs> Come on, man. Ricky Lake was Johnny Depp's uh, sister in here. She was pregnant. Oh, it's that ran out. It's, it's a lot of realness in this movie mm. that they be singing about, like abandoned homes and all kind of like, like real, like it, it's, it's some real shit, but it's just kind of like really played up grease like. But you know, if you like grease, and you didn't always get to have Kool-Aid. You had to go with the generic version flavor aid because it was 20 cents cheaper. That's what this is. This is the flavor aid of Grease. And there's nothing wrong with flavor aid. Yeah. So you went to the store looking for this? Or like, <laughs> you like, you know, man, I got all the movies except for Cry Baby. I got the movie about Cry Baby. I got to get my Cry Baby. <laughs> I got that Cry Baby. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep this one in the plastic. <laughs> I ain't open this yet. I was like, oh, oh, cook. direct. I, I better keep this in the plastic. I got to have my movies pristine. <laughs> I ain't took it out the box yet. This DVD has been fun one time. <laughs> <laughs> and, look, as as Patrick brought up, this was definitely one of those you saw in the bin, one ninety nine. I was like, might as well add it to the collection. Mm -hmm. Could I spend the two dollars on something else? Perhaps. Had you heard of it prior to you buying it? I did. I saw it on television. I was like, "This is dope!" Like, why has why is no one talking about this? Johnny Depp <laughs> crying with a single tear. I got that. On it. <laughs> I got that on it. But then I watched it sober, and I was like, "You know what? This is an example of making bad decisions when yeah. you're integrated." Yeah, don't don't hit the same right when the toxins there. ain't in your body. Do it. Yeah, that's why it's still in the plastic. I was like, I can't respect if we open this no more. You might be able to return it. I can't. The store burned down. They blockbuster the clothes. I didn't <laughs> open it. <laughs> blockbuster. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's crazy? Out of business sale. Take everything. <laughs> Just take hey, it. You know what? You know how you know this, this movie ain't shit? You know how most shit is made in China? This shit was made in Mexico. Oh, man. Come on. It was made in Mexico. So, but. It is a classic to somebody. So, um, I hope not. Did, <laughs> based off of what I said, have I persuaded anyone to give this movie an hour and a half of the time? No. <sighs> nah, brother. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I'd have to be really bored to, I think, want to watch that. Because I've seen Grease, you know? That's and I'm ha I'm satisfied. That's you got the whole yeah gunpoint. And yeah. Oh, spread oh. me to with some crack rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. You got yeah. You it's gonna take a lot. To make yeah. you, Johnny make didn't bring it. Ricky Lake can't get you just just to watch it or we shoot you up with heroin. Like you got it. That be some <laughs> so they gotta threaten your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your whole livelihood got to change to watch this movie. I don't, okay. I'm sure you ain't going to heaven. Like that's yeah. That's yeah. All right. Well, I, I, I'm two for three, so I'll take my victory. Two for three ain't bad, you know. Not so, bad. Yeah, and, and unanimous though. So it was unanimous. First two, everybody was gonna watch. Cry, baby, can stay in the corner and cry. Yeah. And that is what it is. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out another episode of the Pharaoh's Vault. Be sure to check out Necessary Nonsense, baby. The, Follow Lou. Jared will have their uh, hashtags and their comments and stuff. Tia as well. Uh, it's not just Tia the vegan. She's way more than that. She's beyond Beverly Hills. She's doing big things now. So she will also be in the comments as well. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. 
because um, turn your notifications on because you know y'all say y'all follow me and views don't lie. So I'm just throwing that out there. I need you. I need. I need you for your energy. Need you, man. Need you, man. <laughs> Click the button, man. It's red, man. Push the button. Push Double the goddamn button. button. Push the button. Push the goddamn button. Yeah. Push the goddamn button. <laughs> 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 